Sunrise from the Dismal Swamp. We're standing around ready to go. About the sail sitting at the wall. You ready? That wasn't timing. Well, this sailboat here wouldn't move last night. They're taking up three spaces on the dock. Okay, ever meet the Jewel Three from Wilmington, North Carolina? Say hello for them. And you get you're gonna be pulled and tied up on your port side when you get in line. Thank you, Doc Master. He's got to get the lines from those other boats, so I'm just going to hang back. Yeah, I'll bump that log out of the way, whatever it is. Drop about eight feet. There's the lock master's buggy. They're all closed up, ready to go.
landing gear. We're out. Well, that's the last lock through for this crew. Thank you, Logmaster. Appreciate it. Good day. Thank you, sir. Take care of that car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Green one, we're out of the waterway, a dismal swamp, hang a port, and rejoin. As you guessed, Norfolk's going to be one busy piece of water for us to get through or you to get through later on. Normally the train bridges are open but we got a train moving up ahead so uh, we're gonna have to back down and wait. Now we got one train ending and now another one's headed the other way. He stopped his boat because there's no green light yet so uh, we're all backed up here at the moment. Close enough to read this uh, sign here. Beyond all that, did you notice that there was a ship parked right here? Another railroad bridge up for the moment. And a fuel farm. the railroad bridge here. Being it as we do, I'm around the corner here. Got some naval ships starting to show up. Yeah. Got a push boat going out. Tugs. They're hitting the influence of uh, the uh, propellers from those tugs as you're pushing that barge and uh, we're about to hit it as well. Same as Matt's and they've added a little power. Now people don't realize but on uh, the business end of those tugs is a propeller larger than the size of a ship in many cases and they can really really throw some water out because they've got to push a ship so you really got to respect the tug brace myself here who are we in that fun Miss Matson? Matson just pointed out this is the real deal here I mean these folks are living it every day it's not like Hollywood making a movie or uh, people sitting on their butts up in Washington DC I mean this is this is it up ahead looks like we got a couple of aircraft carriers
This is, this is pretty impressive stuff. Boy, we have just made it through that one. Got a train coming. I couldn't even fathom the amount of money it takes to run this for just one day. It must be incredible. Dispersing retardant after the ship went through. And there I was 10 years ago. Now that's a sea door. It's an excellent way to cruise. Now that's camping on the, on the water, whereas this is living on the water. So that's kind of the difference. Coming up in Craney Island and in the bite of Craney Island. This is where the uh, Virginia blew up. You may know it as the uh, Merrimack from the Battle of the Monitor and the Merrimack. And the explosion was so large that it, uh, they, they set, it, set it off to keep it from being captured. The explosion was so large that it shook houses for 10 miles. Floating dry dock. Number three, Bell Buoy, coming out of Hampton Road. And just so you know, we picked up a new chart book, dropped in a marina, and it took all of 10 minutes, turned the boat around, and got right back out. Now, in the bigger picture, we've uh, come up the river here, and we're just about to go out the tunnel, and we're gonna hook a port around this point and go right on up to Chesapeake Bay. We just hug, hug the Yui yeah. and let this guy go by. He's uh, a little bigger than we are and now we're going to head up uh, behind him into the Chesapeake. Well, Chesapeake is really slamming us good. Something we absolutely didn't need. So we're uh, Trying to make it in here to uh, what's the name of this bay? Mob Jack Bay. Into a marina. We got out of here and all this rough waters thrown up stuff from the bottom of the tank. We did an emergency fuel filter change out here in the middle of this stuff and boy was that ever fun. So anyway, we're trying to Trying to make it in here. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to make it into a channel over here. And uh, she's trying to cut out again. It's really throwing the garbage in from the fuel tanks up and 
sucking it up into the engine, so we're just going to have to call it for today. Well, good morning from Davis Creek Marina, right near Matthews, Virginia. We're in the Chesapeake Bay, just short of our destination. Mischief was a Hargrave design. His hallmarks were a very high prominent bow, twin ceiling shaft seals, a prop protecting keel, and a design meant to be driven by an economical four-cylinder diesel. The construction was a relatively new method, fiberglass reinforced plastic. As such, it has no known lifespan, no sell-by date, no time date stamp. It'll motor on through history as long as people are simply willing to drop a new engine and transmission in. But for us, the trip ends here. And it's probably fitting it ends this way. We went out with our boots on, fighting till the end. I'll let Connie read from the log. Well, I've been kind of keeping a written daily log of our trip. And our last day, everything was good out of the dismal swamp until, you know, about 1.30 we got into the Chesapeake Bay and headed toward our destination. We were past the entrance of the Elizabeth River whenever the wind really picked up. The waves started building and about 45 minutes later, the waves went from choppy to swells of five to six feet. We are already heading to land, praying there would be a marina in our path. We got within a mile of the channel and the engine started cutting out. We knew we had a fuel problem due to the rolling of the boat. I went down and shut the engine off, then went to the bow and got the anchor ready to drop. Matt dropped the anchor on my signal and I tied it off. We raised the hatch and changed the fuel filter amongst all these rolling waves. The engine started up, Matt went to the flybridge and I got the anchor ready to come up. We got underway and made it again about a half mile before it did it again. Just a quarter mile from the channel. Same routine, but Matt also drained the Raycor. It had a lot of debris and water in the fuel. Before starting the engine, Matt wrote down our position and was ready to call the Coast Guard. We started the engine and by the grace of God, we made it into the channel to Davis Creek Marina which is in Matthews, Virginia. It is now 5 p.m. The owners will now pick us up as our trip has ended. And we want to thank all of you for following us. Thanks, guys. You've been great. Bye-bye.